So good morning, everybody. Thank you, team back here call. Sir, one request, sir. please stick to the timing. It is 30 minutes for the lecture and 2 minutes for the questions. Yes, yes. I will try to finish within 15 minutes. So, if you have a chairperson, I will tell you. I will tell you. Demystifying DPP4 inhibitors. 13 minutes. Okay. Demystifying DPP4 inhibitors, the untold story. So, this is going to be different. What I am going to do within the next 15 minutes is what we already know about DPP4 inhibitors. What are the various classes of DPP4 inhibitors? Not available in India, the group of DPP4 inhibitors and weak leg leptins, of course, not available in India. And recent great study, what implication does it have on DPP4 inhibitors? We know that there are all DPP4 inhibitors are similar in terms of mechanism of action and their efficacy. There should not be any doubt, but they differ considerably in terms of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. We have six gliptins. Most of them are to be given once a day, except Vilda, which is twice a day. Sipsa is metabolized by SIP enzyme group. Hence, it interacts with various drugs. In gliptin, we know the dose remains same in renal failure, while for others, we need to reduce the dose and lina interacts with the different patient. Probably, majority of people do not know about it. We know that DPP-4 inhibitors have simplified the management of type 2 diabetes. This is ADA ESD consensus statement 2018. It says low risk of hypoglycemia with DPP-4 inhibitor. They are weight neutral. Cardiovascular effects. There is a star on safety because of sex agleptin. Safety profile is similar to placebo. Few interactions. No timing or dosing issue. That is, dosing is with respect to linagliptin and they have very good compliance. These are the data from various CVOT, five of them, Xavier Tini with Sexa, examined with Allo 25 milligram, Ecos with Citagliptin, Carolina with linagliptin, Carolina again, comparison between Lina and Glimipride. We know Vilda and Tenelli do not have any CVOT. Look at the CVOT data, the evidence across safety, various cardiorenal continuum, high CV risk, heart failure, and kidney disease. Vilda, it's uncertain, not because of lack of data because of CVOT. Sexagliptin, there is a safety signal for heart failure. Tenelligliptin, there is a safety signal. I will come to that. And the rest of it is uncertain because there is no CVOT. And Sita and Lina are clean. Lina especially is stands out because of proven safety in all the three groups. Coming to various classes the unique structure of DPP-4 inhibitors, there are three classes. Probably, we do not know. Nobody tells us. Vilda and Sexa are of the same class, class 1 inhibitor. They act as S1 and S2 subsites. Clinicians are not interested in that, but that is the hidden fact. Elo and Lina are of the same class 2. They act at S1, S2 and S1, S2 subsites also. Class 3 is Sita and Tenelli. So Tenelli and Sita are from the same class and they act at extensive subsites S1, S2. 
tenelli majority of people who who are not having tenelli or the patented molecule they they tell us it is not cv safe is it a difficult choice unlike other leptin like sita sexa alo and lina there is no targeted cvot with tenelli nor there is adequately powered study to assess cv safety with tenelli that is the biggest drawback with tenelli leptin dedicated cvot with tenelli is lacking now coming to prolongation of qtc most of tenelli people don't tell you and everybody knows present in the hall that tenelli is the most prescribed leptin so far as india is concerned so ussda has put a marker of prolongation of qtc of 5 milliseconds or upper bound 90% con confidential interval of qtc study should not cross 10 milliseconds that is what us fda says and that is what 160 mg which is never recommended in clinical use so far as qtc is concerned with an elegliptin 40 mg in some countries and i have seen some prescriptions of bid tenelli 40 mg also appears to reach the critical threshold of 5 milliseconds or upper bound threshold it should be used with caution if you are q q prescribing it with those agents which are likely to prolong qtc eogliptin a relatively new gliptin in india there is a study by the name evolution india evo was directly con uh, compared to sita it was non inferior in terms of a1c reduction it improved glycemic efficacy and was well tolerated now coming to not available in india dpp4 inhibitors but available across the globe gemigliptin trimigliptin omariglyptin and gosogliptin they are available in korea japan japan and russia once weekly dpp4 inhibitor omari and trimigliptin Omariglyptin is given weekly 25 mg doses minimal metabolism trimigliptin is given 100 mg once weekly so that probably is is facilitating coming to efficacy data of omariglyptin and it what the study was done head to head with other established wilda sita and lena so administering omariglyptin as add on therapy or switching from sita to lena but not wilda because wilda is twice a day it improved glycemic control and thus should help in decision making while selecting dpp4 inhibitors coming to trimigliptin efficacy data it is as good as any other gliptin now finally about great trial this is probably not told by majority of companies but this trial was presented last year 2021 ada virtual ada it compared the effectiveness of four commonly used second line type 2 diabetic drugs it was interventional randomized pre-assigned open label clinical trial 5000 participants and they compared gemi sita lira and glachi primary and secondary endpoint was a1c more than 7 more than 7.5 and secondary endpoint was microvascular and cardiovascular outcomes so what did it tell us the highest failure rate is with citagliptin even more than gemipride that is what we have been knowing for years 
Ketagotil was associated with higher, significantly higher risk of primary metabolic outcome than all other medications. Rates of CV disease defined as major CV events, heart failure, hospitalization, unstable angina, TIA or revascularization. Citagotin again had 8.6 as compared to glimipride. 8%. So that is eye-opening. With that, I like to stop and I invite all those who are present in this hall for EDCO on 2022 on 12th and 13th of November, Saturday and Sunday. Thank you very much.